What's up NZers? Hi! And welcome back to another reaction video. This time we've got another little history lesson off the back of our Star Spangled Banner one, learning about your guys' national anthem and flag, which we absolutely loved. And uh, yeah, we, there was a few of you that uh, mentioned that we should look into the history behind the 4th of July. today to check it out we're looking at crash course so make sure you go and check out their channel and give them the credit that they deserve because it looks like an epic channel with over 12 million subscribers and yeah we're uh, we're pretty excited to learn about this when i think of independence day i think of will smith and aliens so that's the movie that i saw that's like pretty much all i know what do you what do you think of when you think of fourth of july fireworks fireworks what do you think of like parades parades but do you guys know why they have no no Neither. I actually don't know either. I got like, no idea why. I've seen some Instagram stories of people in America doing the whole 4th of July street parade. Yeah. And it looks fun, um, but I actually don't know the reason why they do it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm guessing, yeah, I don't know. I can't, I can't really guess. I'm, I'm, guessing, I'm so guessing it's something to do with a battle. Or the British or something. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway. I don't know. Yeah, anyway, that's why we're here. We're here to learn more about it. So let's check it out. Hi, I'm John Green. This is Crash Course US History, and today we're going to talk about July 4th, which in the United States is known as Independence Day. This is the day that Americans celebrate our independence from Great Britain by doing what we do best, blowing stuff up, offering significant <laughs> discounts on mattresses, driving what? long distances for uncomfortable family interactions, and eating a lot of grilled meat. Okay, wow. Well, are we expected to read this, or are they... Okay, I think I'm going to go back over it. All right. Right, so the story goes that the founders of this nation signed the Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776, parting ways with King George to found the freest, finest nation on the face of the earth. <laughs> yeah, except the Continental Congress actually approved a resolution of independence on July 2nd. The Lee Resolution was proposed by Richard Henry Lee of Virginia in June of 1776 and was a simple legal declaration of separation from England. John Adams got so excited about it that he wrote to his wife Abigail, The second day of July 1776 will be the most memorable epic in the history of America. I am apt to believe that it will be celebrated by succeeding generations as the great anniversary festival. It ought to be solemnized with pomp and parade, with shows, games, sports, guns, bells, bonfires, so right. and illuminations from one end of this continent to the other, Big show. from this time forward, forevermore. So what happened on the 4th? Well, not that much, actually. The Declaration of Independence was the formal announcement of independence, and its text was approved on July 4th, 1776. The fancy parchment version, with all the pretty calligraphy, wouldn't get drawn up until July 19th, and most members of the Congress signed the Declaration on August 2nd. Adams may have been wrong about the date, but he was definitely right about the celebration. Americans started celebrating the 4th of July as early as 1777, and as Adams predicted, the holiday later. was observed with feasts, 13-gun salutes, and fireworks. Why don't we call them illuminations anymore, Stan? You know, people can say, like, oh, we put a man on the moon, and we can refrigerate our meat now, but I miss the old days. Anyway, in 1778, George <laughs> Washington celebrated the 4th by giving his soldiers a double ration of rum, and also there was much more shooting than usual. But while the people celebrated <laughs> yeah. the anniversary from the beginning, the federal government took its sweet time in formalizing the holiday. Independence Day became an unpaid holiday for federal employees in 1870 and became a paid day off in 1938. Fourth of July observances have evolved over the years, but they generally involve patriotic displays including decorations, fire, and explosives. Essentially, we celebrate so our independent cool, plan in a one-day fake war each summer. Huzzah! <laughs> Ah, freedom tinnitus. Early observances were marked by huge bonfires, but the litigious nature of modern American society has greatly reduced the number of bonfires. However, we still have a lot of fireworks on the 4th of July. Many cities and towns across the country sponsor fireworks displays wow. on the 4th. New York's fireworks wow. display Whoa. is the largest in the nation. Despite the yeah. grandeur of these officially sanctioned displays, many, many individuals across the nation feel the need to blow stuff up on their own in their yards because, you know, they have all of their fingers, <laughs> you know, that seems like 
Too many. Many states have restricted <laughs> the sale and personal use of fireworks, freedom haters, but would-be patriots find their way to marginal neighborhoods every year to buy fireworks out of the backs of vans. In my neighborhood, <laughs> these personal pyrotechnic celebrations start in about mid-May and continue well into August, causing my dog to have a very stressful summer. John Adams' prediction about gunfire holds true as well. On most military bases, 50 gunshots, one for each state, are fired at noon on July 4th as a salute to the Union. And in Sam's neighborhood, where you go to buy the fireworks out of the backs of vans, celebratory gunfire is common throughout the year. Here is an actual <laughs> bullet hole in Stan's actual window. Stan, can we get the Libertage again? Wow. Wowzers. In the 19th century, many ex-presidents celebrated the 4th of July by dying. Both Thomas Jefferson and John Adams died on July 4th, 1826, and James Madison died on the 4th of July in 1831. Calvin Silent Cal Coolidge was born on July 4th, 1876, but as he was never demonstrably alive, no one really cares that much. Finally, lest we forget, Americans also celebrate the 4th of July by eating. Millions Yum. of Americans Yum. host cookouts to celebrate independence, and the Face greatest time. spectacle in professional sports happens every year on the 4th of July. I am referring, of course, to the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. Oh. <laughs> is 68 HDBs, oh. hot dogs and buns, in 10 minutes. That means the world record holder, Whoa. Joey Chestnut, consumed about 28,500 calories in 10 minutes. But don't worry, oh. we'll fill it up shortly there. Just... So happy 4th of July from all of us here at Crash Course. We may not celebrate American independence on the right That's day, insane. but I would argue that in spite of it all, it's still worth celebrating. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Boop! <laughs> Happy Independence Day. 2013, that was a while ago. Oh, wow. Alright. That was like an information explosion. Yeah, yeah, that was like a little... Did you pick up anything from that? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. What do you, what do you guys think independence means? What do you think that word means? It means like you're free and you don't have anything on you. You're like independent, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah separate. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So before that, they were under the rule of the British. And they had to like answer to the king. The back so then there was the king of England. We are still under the rule of the British? <laughs> yeah, we're under the Queen. Now. We're under the Queen. New Zealand's under the Queen. Yeah, so we basically answer to her and yeah. like she's head of state. Yeah. But then they didn't want that, so they had to sign like a document and then basically say that we are declaring we want to separate from the British. And that was seventeen seventy six. Yeah, so, so that's why they're called the land of the free. Right? Yeah. yeah. They called themselves the land of the free. Yeah. Um, and home of the brave, I guess, is because they fought for that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah, cool. Well, that's so that's really cool. why they celebrate. It kind of goes on from the Star Spangled Banner story, right? Yeah, I think it's all sort of intertwined. It's, yeah. So is it a celebration of that day? I think you... that was actually the one. The one about the Star Spangled Banner was in 1812. So I think oh, it was a different about, one. About 30, 40 years later. And then this Declaration of Independence. Oh. So I think the British, they kept coming back and maybe trying to fight them, and that's why they were trying to... Oh. And so there were wars there where they were trying, the British were trying to make them surrender. I, they came and, after and lower them. the American flag. They came after them again. Yeah, I think so, because they, they probably would have had British flags all over you know America at some point. Oh. Because they were under their rule. Man, it's interesting. Yeah, eh? I don't know. There's probably still a little bit more that we need to yeah, find out. Yeah, maybe you guys but, can help us out. Like, that's a crash course. So. Yeah. It's hard to like sort of get your head that's around all of it, but that's cool. So that's why they celebrate it. All right, what do you guys think of that? It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. You learned something? Yeah, I learned a lot. Yeah, it was a bit easier in the second video for you guys, eh? Yeah. In oh the, well. In the school of YouTube. Yeah, love the school <laughs> of YouTube. <laughs> oh well, thanks for watching, guys. We really enjoyed checking out your history, and it's really cool to know the the whole story behind why you guys celebrate Fourth of July, since that's coming up soon, and I'm sure we'll see a lot of the celebrations across social media. So now we know, and we can celebrate with you. Definitely. It's definitely something worth celebrating. It is. It definitely is. And we're with you. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya. Bye. Bye.